start this question and then he concluded with with a comment you had said that when it was you know it was those women that sat on the guy's laps and just stayed out to extended times and then it was me that was like I gotta go <laughs> like I might not be fun right well no going. Okay. I don't mean in that way I meant that like when we were in a relationship so there was times where his friends didn't want me around because I'm boring and I wasn't allowed to come and hang out with them but other females were those females are oh, drinking beer and all over this person all flirting with all of them because they mm. could do that they're single they want to play the game with them you know this is interesting for boys they're like oh okay cute girls coming around she you know nobody she's not attached to anybody she's fun for whatever that means and <laughs> and so that's what they were interested in it, but at the same time they were also like jealous of the fact that he had a girlfriend that would be like like mm -hmm. if I came over I was just minding my business I wasn't extra drunk I wasn't belligerent or getting into anything with them or whatever and at the end of the day we would go through stuff and we would still be together mm. and they would be like you know like they had thoughts of like oh we are these type of people and women don't last in relationships with us and his relationship was lasting so they they wanted more fun to be in it now, I don't know if there's other types of women. I just feel, I mean, like a like a opposite type of woman of me. Because I could be fun if I'm single, too. <laughs> but mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not. When I was single, he didn't, he wouldn't, he wasn't able to see that because we were in two separate states. And then when we finally met, we were already together. He asked me to be his girlfriend before we met in person right. or anything. So... You know what I can definitely pick out now um, to answer your same question, too. You're, you're not Joe. Like, you was never as geeky as a lot of those females. And how you mentioned who want to come drink beer with us, hang out with us. Like, females will come drink 40s and watch us play 2K just to be, like, in the mix, just to be hype, just to be around. Mm -hmm. And granted, we were in two different states. And I I never had a chance to see that, but then actually be coming to know you, like that was never your time. And a lot of things that other females would do, she found corny. And I think that's what stood out. I think that's what was the difference. It was like she she would play that, like oh that's extra or or whatever. And that's what really stood out because a lot of females did did do that. They would be on everybody's face and everybody's face, on everybody's attention or want to do the most. Let's go out. We got to go out after we go out. And Sade, mm -hmm. when we was, right? And uh, when we were talking anything, it was, it was just, she was chill. You know, it was, she was slowed down. She was focused. And I'm like. I didn't care if we didn't leave the house for right. three days. <laughs> like, that's different for somebody other than being like, oh, you know, we're going to such and such is tonight. And they're going because everybody else is going mm. if they're not in those pictures then they're not cool or they're not nobody or they wasn't there if they're not so they have to go and i'm like why do you even want to go to that you don't like those people you don't even act like those people you don't know these people you don't have the money to pay the cover and to drink all night but you're gonna go anyway you to make reality yeah into, like like the situation she also loved just being around me like she actually loves being around me and that was new in the beginning I didn't really feel like anybody really wanted to be around me I was just kind of popping especially on campus she wanted to be under me she wanted to be with me everywhere you go it got to the point now her mother calls me her shadow like we're always yeah, together <laughs> like and um that that I think that's another good sign too, because if you always want, if you were somebody who's always in the mix, they looking for something, and it's it's not in you. That's why they always in the mix, and that's a troubling sign to me. But Charlie, she was just like, oh, "What's my baby? At? What's what's baby doing? I'm under him. I'm coming down this weekend. It was just there Tuesday. I know I'm coming down. Cool. Like she she 
She forced her way into my life and made me love her. And that sounds like, I, I don't know how it sounds, but it's a good thing. Like, I'm not mad it at it at all. It sounds weird. Let's <laughs> not say I forced my way because I didn't ask for, well, I wasn't trying to be in a relationship when we first started talking, but he wanted a relationship. Right. Once it was a relationship, I did want, I now I need to know what's going on. So yeah, I'm gonna be like, well, I need to be there because last week you had a party until three o'clock in the morning and da 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 whatever. So hey, who knows what happened? Yeah, yeah. So that was just like regular, but yeah, I did want to just be around because if I am in another state, then then once I come here, like I want to be around you. I don't want to be around whatever rappers and whatever you know and. Like, oh, you want to go up to the school that you don't attend anymore to see people that I don't like. Nobody cares about these people. <laughs> was like, we that. can we can just <laughs> we can just that. stay at home, save the gas money, get some food, and watch TV. <laughs> like, that's what I was down for. I don't really want to be seen or known anyway. Being known is never a good thing in my eyes. But I mean, that's unless true. you have a talent. And they know you for your talent. But other than that. <laughs> that's powerful. No, that's true. It is. That's true. <laughs> you don't want to be known. Like, known. I don't know people. Known. Even in my own city, he knows more Can't people. Can't draw past five guys. Like, I know Charlotte. <laughs> yeah. I like, yeah. And I no love life that. Is. Like, I, yeah. I, it feels so good as a man. To know that nobody can play you about your woman. Like, I can walk outside and I know nobody can tell me about her. And that confidence that that gives me. And it, the, growing in our relationship, I got to the point where I wanted to make sure I did the same thing for her. She used to always be like, like, just don't disrespect me. And I didn't really get that. And I'm thinking, like, directly towards her. Like, I would never disrespect you. Even when I was in that player stage, I wouldn't disrespect you. But she kind of meant with my actions. Not kind of. That's exactly what she meant. With my actions. Don't disrespect me. It's, and I don't want her to be able to go outside and somebody be able to look at her like, oh, that's Blaze Girl. Da, 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 da. Because I know I can walk outside and not a soul can say anything about Sade. To the point where not even her past before I knew her, people could really say much. Like, it was... God kind of gift wrapped me the perfect woman that I needed, you know. He knew I was had a big ego that I wouldn't want hand-me-downs. I wouldn't want a female that anybody else had. And he knew I was hard-headed, so he needed a female who was going to hit me in my head, you know, just <laughs> until I woke up. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> No, that's fine. Not literally, <laughs> but, <laughs> you know. No, that's, that's good. That's really good. Um, when you was single, Charday, what what did you go through an emotionless phase? Like, like emotionless? No. Well, I was single for like months between meeting him, so it was That's brief. Good. And the honest truth is, well, I left a relationship. And then decided, okay, well, I'm going to just start. I need to talk to somebody else because it had been so long. And that wasn't him. It was somebody else. But I wasn't still even fun or nothing like that. I was just talking to him more, which um, didn't last long because that guy was talking to other people. And then I just started talking to him. Like, it was really like six months of being single. I didn't do much. I'm definitely not the type to, like... Jump try to have like a a fling or go out and like oh one night or something like that yeah. I didn't have any type of fun like that in my single day I, I, <laughs> I, <think, laughs> I think that's so attractive um, yeah. mainly because so many people even from celebs is jumping from relationship to relationship to relationship they hear that you was single for six months that gave you time to breathe and how long was the relationship before that? Um, two years. Two years. So six months, you know, just to unravel you from being in a relationship for two years is so attractive. Mainly because so many people are literally, I got to jump into something else. 
Mm-hmm. Well, do you know that something else? Like, what does that something else? Do you even know yourself? You know, because there's so many different attributes that you pick up when you're in a relationship with that person mm-hmm. that you it rubs off. And then you start looking at a mirror. You acting, you doing, you being like them. And then when y- y'all don't work out, you find yourself trying to separate. Well, this is me and this was them. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I think doing that, I, that's... That's very attractive that you did that. That was one of the biggest, like, problems that that player phase I had, though, because you really do bring a part of people. And um, even before her and then in the beginning, like, you, you're taking your pieces of souls of somebody to the point I was looking in the mirror and I didn't know who I was. Mm. You know what I mean? I, I mean, I knew I was Blake, but I didn't know my values no more, my morals, because my morals were readjusted to you know, feel the satisfaction. And um it was it was kinda scary. You know, she helped she helped find and like bring that back. And I was she helped made me made me look in the mirror and, and be proud to look in the mirror instead of putting my head down and going back into the mess I was getting into. But um that's the danger of just being with multiple people. You don't know who you're dealing with. You don't know what kind of scars they have. You don't know what they're giving you. And this is not even like regular diseases or uh, that might be transfer but more spiritual you don't know what, what, what they feed in your soul and you're just absorbing it and you go into the next and now you're creating a void that you're trying to fill you're just enlarging it and it's it's scary man yeah yeah i think yeah. it was like a very good book it was right. like he said like he didn't know who he was and I was interested to find out who he was, too, because when I agreed, like, oh, I'll be your girlfriend, I thought he was one person. And when I met him, even though nothing had happened yet, like, I just met him, I could tell that he wasn't, like, at least half the stuff that he said, the major, the, the main things that he wanted to portray. <laughs> so the I selling like, points. okay, so who is this guy? And he would be like, oh. I'm a thug, I'm this that, and I'll be like, yeah, okay. Like, to his face, I'll be like, She never respected yeah, my gangster, okay. man. Like, <laughs> he would talk about all type of stuff, and I would be like, but you can't even, like, for, like, even he was judgmental, and I was like, this can't be you really judging this person if you don't really have what that, what you judging this person for not having, and stuff like that. He was, like, so lost. But it was it was right. interesting to me. I didn't have nothing else to do but take a free flight in my life. I was I was young. <laughs> no, that's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, this is awesome. This is. I mean, my toes are ashy. As as <laughs> like the first one. What'd you say? Oh, I said my toes was ashy because oh. I was looking at my feet. <laughs> Paper. We we live. <laughs> she acts. <laughs> they just a little ashy, y'all. That's because she works can't. hard, you know. <laughs> 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 Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, okay, we back, we back, <laughs> we back. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, I got sidetracked a little bit. Um. Sade is a comedian on the low. Um, I think y'all brought up very good points um, to conclude this single playing field and relationship session, part one and part two. Is there any final words y'all want to share in regards to it? And you don't have a time limit on what you want to share. Yeah, I know. I definitely want to say, just from my personal experience, relationships are difficult. They are worth it. Trust me, they're definitely worth it. And before we got on air, we was talking about, you know, how basic relationships are being devalued now. Let's bring that love back. First of all, we all need love in our life. We all need to be connected and look out for one another. And it, it helps when you can start that at home, where you can give somebody your all and get that back. There's no other feeling of having a teammate that you can rely on and that, that that you know they're going to come through. It's no second guessing. It's like another set of eyes. It's another set of ears. It's just they can do what you can't do and together you can accomplish so much. So really appreciate that. But I don't mean go and give your love to anybody. Take your time out and find the one. There is a one 
not to say that there's only one, but there is a one for you, and you just gotta find them. And once you find them, then make that your only one. But um, yeah, that's all I gotta say for real. Make sure they're single first. <laughs> yes, make sure they're single first. <laughs> that's all. I have to say. How do how do you look for that though? 